Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for SAT. We have been solving SAT math problems out of this book here, the SAT Official Study Guide 2020. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll solve some problems that you will find on page number 881. Please turn to it. Always make sure the book is in front of you. Always make sure that the book is in front of you. Page number 881, you will find two problems there, 33 and 34. Number 33, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. If, if at the end of the video you find this helpful and you wish to, if you wish and you wish to get hold of me. You can do so by sending me an email at kishwaniprep at icloud.com in the event that you would like to work with me. So number 33, we have a cylinder. We have a cylinder, we are told that the radius is 2 and the height of the cylinder is somewhere between 7, seven and 3 quarter inches and 8 inches. The question simply is, what is one possible value of the volume to the nearest whole cubic inches? Okay? We don't have to round it to the nearest tenth. It's the whole number they are looking for, nearest cubic inches. Let's take a look at it. We need the room, so I'm going to raise one of this thing. Volume of the cylinder, as we know, is simply pi r squared times h. Volume of the cylinder depends on two things. It depends on how wide open the cylinder is, which is the area of the circle there, which is pi r squared, and how deep it is. How deep it is is the height. There we go. Let's, let's see what we can do here. Pi, now the value of pi, as you know, is 3.1416. It goes on forever. But if you want to approximate the value of pi, pi in the form of a fraction, it is 22 over 7. 22 over 7 is 3 and 1 7, which is approximately 3.1428, which is fine, even though it's one point even though it's 3.1416, not 28, but that's a very good approximation, 22 over 7, which is what we're going to use here. So pi is equal to 22 over 7. Radius, we are told, radius, we were told, is 2. Radius is 2. The height is between 7 and 3 quarter and 8. So the radius is 2. When you square it, you get 4. And for the height, we're just going to use the two extreme and see what the range is. Seven and three quarters. And then we'll do another scenario where, where we'll use the height of eight. Pi, 22 over seven, pi, r squared, which is four, times the height, which is the eight, which is the other extreme. And see, let's see what the, what, what, what the range is. 7 and 3 quarter. Let's first take care of this part here. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 7 is 28. And 4 and 4 times 3 quarter. 4 times 3 quarter. 4 is going to drop out. 4 times 3 quarter. 4 is going to drop out. And it's just 3. So it's just 22 over, over 7 times 31. Let's find out what, what uh, 22 times, which is simply 3 and 1 7 that I said right here little while ago, that is 3 and 1 seventh, this quantity right here, times 31, all right, 31 times 3, 31 times 3 is 30 times 3 would have been 90, 31 times 3 is 93, plus 31 times 1 seventh, 31 times 1 seventh is just going to be 31 seventh. So we have 93 plus 31 seventh, which is 20, 28 over 7 is 4. So it's 4, and then we have 3 left over, 3 seventh. You see, 31, 31 seventh is simply 28 seventh plus 3 seventh, and 28 seventh is just 4. So we end up with 97 and 3 seventh. Half of 7, half of 7 is 3.5. In other words, if we had 3.5 over 7, that would have been exactly half. If it's 
if the top is 3.5 or more, we would have to round it up because it's more than half. This is 3, this is less than half, which means we have to round it down. So 97 and 37 basically boils down to 97. Let's see what we get here. Here is very straightforward. We have 32. So we have 22 over 7 times 32. Let's find out what 32 times 22 is. 22 times 2 is 44. 4, carry 4. 22 times 3 is 66. 66 plus 4 is 70. So it's 704. 704 over 7. Over 7. Let's keep this separate. You understand? 700 over 7 is just 100. So it's just going to be 100 and then 4, 7. Again, because 4 is more than 3.5, 4, 7 is more than half. Because it's more than half, we're going to have to round it up to 101. There we go, we're done. Any of this value in this range will do the job. The question was, what is one possible value of the volume of the cylinder? The answers are, it can be 97, or 98, or 99, or 100, or all the way up to 101. Any one of these five answer choices, any one of these five options would do just fine. Just play safe, put in something in the middle like 100 or 99. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number, number 34. We need more room here. We have a graph whose equation we are told is this, and it intersects, we are told, it intersects the line y is equal to x. As you can see, y is equal to x is a 45 degree, 45 degree line going through the origin, and it intersects at, at the origin, 0, 0 and at a0. The question simply is, what is the a? In other words, what's the x-coordinate? What's the x-coordinate of the second point where they intersect? So let's find out. So we set them equal to each other because they share this point in common. So if we set them equal to each other, we end up with 3x squared minus 14x is equal to x, bring the x to this side, we end up with 3x squared minus 15x is equal to 0. Take 3x as a common factor, we end up with x over here and 5 over here. Because 3 times 5 is 15 and then x, 15x. Which means that either 3x is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0. Which means x is equal to 5. And this will give you x is equal to 0 which we already knew. This was not a surprise, but which we already knew because it goes through the origin. Here's the second point. A0, A is 5. It goes through the, the, these, two, these two graphs cut each other at 5, 0 and 0, 0. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number 35. Number 35 says, that 4 fifth x plus 1 third y is equal to 1. And the question is, what is the x coordinate? Coordinate rather of its of its x intercept. So if you have a x, y, x axis and y axis, it doesn't matter where the x intercept is, whether it's on the positive side or negative side, it doesn't matter. What, what we have to understand is that at x intercept, the y coordinate is 0. So if you put in y equal to 0, we can figure out the x coordinate. But if you put y equal to 0 here, it drops out. 1 third times 0 is just 0. So what we end up with, five four, what we end up with is 5 fourth x equals 1. Because so this guy drops out because y is equal to 0 at the x-intercept. That's it. Therefore, x is equal to the reciprocal of that, 5 4. There is absolutely nothing to it. 
the last three problems that you see there, 36, 37, and 38, we'll do them tomorrow, okay? In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, as I said before, you can send me an email at kashwaliprep at icloud.com. Alright? Bye now.